thinner, smaller, lighter, and more powerful. What are we talking about? Well, we're talking about consumer devices, like smartphones. That also means making better batteries, too. One Chinese professor working in the U.S. may have found a way to create the battery of the future. Mark New reports. Inside Stanford's Keck Science Building, Professor Dai Hongjie is leading a team that's made a discovery. An international collaboration between Stanford, Hunan University, and Taiwan Industrial Technology Research Institute has produced this, an aluminum battery that can fully charge in one minute. That really is the first time to enable aluminum to become a rechargeable battery material. So that's why I think a lot of people are excited about it, because aluminum is really the most abundant metal on Earth. It's the same aluminum found in your kitchen or a soda can. The other key ingredient is graphite, the same kind found in pencils. The researchers emphasize these are still very early days for the technology. In fact, just last year, they submitted a paper indicating they could get 7,000 charges out of this aluminum battery. Today, that's up to more than 45,000 charges. Compare that to lithium-ion batteries that can be recharged only around 1,000 times. Aluminum can also bend. This is a great advantage comparing with the lithium battery. Yeah, great advantage because it's very flexible. That's a brand new car. And as demonstrated by accidents involving Tesla electric cars, lithium-ion batteries are flammable, unlike aluminum. Oh, that's a Tesla, dude. This really is the beginning of a new battery. It does have all the characteristics you would like for a battery, including low cost, safe, a lot of cycles, very fast charging. But one of the caveat is the energy density is currently still limited. The energy density is not as high as a lithium-ion battery. Aluminum batteries can't store as much energy as lithium-ion batteries of the same size point emphasized by Tesla founder Elon Musk, who tweeted, battery breakthroughs need to state power and energy density. Still, Dai says he's been contacted by every major smartphone maker as well as numerous wearable and electrical vehicle companies. He believes with continued progress, aluminum batteries could move from the lab to the marketplace within a year's time. Mark New, CCTV, Stanford, California.